Morgan, we finally made it. We did it. Now, I know these past few months have been challenging, but you have shown me time and time again why I fell in love with you in the first place. We have put in all the hard work, and now it's time to go have fun. I do know when things are tough, like planning a wedding in a pandemic, you are the person I want on my team. You truly and honestly are the most beautiful person inside and out, and I know I don't tell you this enough. Dusty, the day we've been waiting for is finally here. All the planning is done, our friends and family are here, and we never have to look at that giant to-do list again. I thought I was going to be a little nervous or anxious for this day, but as I sit here getting ready, I can tell you that I just feel so overwhelmingly happy and excited to be your wife. Up until this point, we have not known for sure if we were actually going to be having a wedding, but we know now, and I could not be happy. I promise to love and support you in the good times and bad for the rest of my life. Love your soon-to-be husband. As excited as I am for our wedding today, I'm even more excited to start our marriage together. But for now, let's go enjoy our perfect day and soak up every second of it. I love you so, so much. I'll see you out there. Dustin and Morgan, marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of any human relationship. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through helping each other, supporting and believing in one another, through tenderness and laughter, learning to forgive, learning to appreciate each other's differences, and learning to make the important things matter, and letting go of all the rest. What this ceremony can do is witness and affirm the choice that you two have made to stand together as partners and as teammates. Dustin, do you take Morgan as your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death parts you? I do. Do you promise to cherish her for eternity and always make room in your house for her secret stash of Bath and Body Works candles? <laughs> I do. And Morgan, do you take Dustin as your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death parts you? I do. And do you promise to cherish him for eternity and accompany him to Home Depot even when he brings his tape measure? I do. <laughs> With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. Dustin and Morgan, you have expressed your love to each other through your sand ceremony. You have exchanged vows and solidified those promises with the giving of rings. Therefore, it is my pleasure to pronounce you as husband and wife. Dustin, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Family and friends, it is my pleasure to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dustin and Morgan Smith. Well, here we are in Richmond, Virginia, celebrating Dustin and Morgan. As a mother, all I've ever wanted for my son is for him to be happy, and seeing how happy Morgan has made him is the greatest gift a mother could ask for her son. Morgan, thank you for that. For as long as I can remember, I've always looked up to Morgan. 
whether it was athletically, academically, kind of, <laughs> or just her pure humor, which you really have to know her to understand, but the longer you do, the more you'll adore it. I love you both so much and wish nothing but love and happiness now and forever. When Dustin first moved out here for his officer training, he met Morgan. And then he moved back to Iowa for a month, two months, maybe. He told me, he's like, I think I'm gonna go back. I'm like, oh, that, that gal you were dating, Morgan, I was going back to meet her. No, no, man, I'm not, I'm just, I just really liked it out there. I'm going out, I'm like, dude, come on. Like, let's be real here. I just wanna love you.